That's frustrating. All right. Um, I don't know if the other part recorded or not. It probably didn't. But, um, hey, guys. Welcome to Dobbins Gaming. This is Kaylee. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. We are here with Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, don't worry. I'm not playing the game. I'm not. I've already beaten it. I'm already all the way through it. I've beaten it, like, a million times because I love the Dragon Age series. It's probably my favorite in the whole entire world is the Dragon Age series. Um, but... The new DLC, Trespasser, came out, which is the final DLC for um, Dragon Age Inquisition, and it puts an end to the game. Um, I have been just hammering out the other DLC, uh, The Descent and The Jaws of Hakon. Hakon? Hakon? I think it's Hakon. Um, and those were good. Um, I preferred The Jaws of Hakon more than I did The Descent, because I'm not a Deep Roads person. Um, but... I'm really excited to get started on this, and I wanted to record a video for you guys today, and I knew I wasn't going to get anything done until I played this DLC. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if there's anything like you really need to know about my game other than the fact that I, choo I chose the mages. Um, I got Celine, Briala, and Gaspard to work together to help Orlay. Um, I let the Grey Wardens join the Inquisition. And I romanced Cullen. So, oh, and I think Liliana became, yeah, Liliana became Divine Victoria at the end of this, not Cassandra. Or Vivian. So, I have, oh yeah, and you got new, there are new outfits and everything. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but I already made a save game um, so that I can go back because I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to, get rid of all of my quests that I have active right now, or all my war table quests. So, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I saved it, and I'm gonna play it, and then I'll go back and finish everything up if I have to. Um, so, there it is over there in Orlais. And let's get started. Okay, warning. Beginning the Exalted Council will lock off all other areas and plots and jump to 944 Dragon, two years after the death of Corypheus. There is no going back from this point. With Corypheus dead and the threat of Fade Rifts and Demons waiting, both Orlay and Ferelden have begun to raise questions about the future of the Inquisition. Divine Victoria has promised to shield the Inquisition from political matters for as long as possible. Eventually, she plans to call the Exalted Council, a chance to determine the role and possibly the fate of the Inquisition. Um... Really, I saved everybody's butt. Like, I saved all of Thetis, and they're gonna question my motives about the Inquisition? That's stupid. But, um, Divine Victorian will not call the Exalted Council until you're ready, Inquisitor. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> the Exalted Council will be held at the Winter Palace, outside H Halab Sharal. Thanks to Divine Victoria's negotiation with the ambassadors, we are ready to depart your convenience. I'm sorry if I sound a little congested. My nose is doing something weird, and it just will not stop, no matter how much allergy medicine I take. Let's do it. I'm really excited. <laughs> it looks really good. Comte de Fave. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Calm down, Kaylee. I really love Dragon Age, guys. Come on. Oh. Um, I'm playing this on my PlayStation 4. I have Dragon Age Inquisition on Xbox One and on my computer, but, um, my Xbox One version isn't working for some reason, and I wasn't far enough along in my PC version, so. Oh, that ugly red finery. Got my horse, though. <laughs> and my cully wooly. That is a long march up to Hello. Another I'm sure parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? 
She's kept Orlais from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlais would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans <laughs> for you. Ah, uh, he's mine. Sorry, ladies. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. That seems odd for King Alistair, since we got along and... I helped him negotiate peace with Orlay on the war table several times. Hmm. My Inquisitor's name is Evelyn. Evelyn Trevelyan. No, oh, why is that doing that? Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years oh, have been Oh, Mother Giselle. Have I didn't like Mother her. Giselle. I spent last summer in Embrace du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. That's good. Corypheus Thanks left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I She was so mean to Dorian. Your worship. I should mention I love that Dorian. your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria Deja, but... asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden ambassadors. I don't even get to see Liliana. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Victoria is proving to be a woman that few dare to disagree with. Good. She has already won concessions for the Inquisition. You are fortunate to have her support. You can probably just call her Leliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Uh, Our last divine whatever. once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinian. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. Ha! <laughs> I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril, Excuse we me. wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tavinta ambassador. Please, Many be Dorian. Of your Please. As well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. Oh, my friends are back. The it's gotta be Dorian. Sent an ambassador. It's gotta be Dorian. Please, yes, Your Worship. Dorian yes. Pavas has taken the chance to return Sorry. from Tavinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. Yes, you do. I allowed my distrust of Tavinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. Yes, he did, and I'm You're glad you got rid of that stupid hat. To Dorian. I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. <laughs> Myself included. Sorry. I will I'm geeking have to out. Make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras, for one. I understand he spent much of the last few years in I wonder Kirkwood. what happened to Hawk. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy Rainier. time with them while you can, Your Worship. Only I doubt two you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank Goodbye, you, Mother Giselle. Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Orlais sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? I don't want to disband it. But I don't want it to be for Orlais either, so I don't, I don't really know. The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck. In the negotiations to come, I don't want to disband it because I feel like it's Make important. Make her watch over you, Inquisitor. 
I will not keep you any longer. Good, I want to go see my friends. And my boyfriend. God, I need a I need a frost really bad to get rid of my allergies. Ugh. I'm slouching. Oh well. You guys see my shirt? Batman riding in a toy thing. Uh, Taylor got it for me for my birthday. Or was it for Christmas? I don't know. Um. Varric! Varric, buddy. Hey. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he I did. I hate Sebastian. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Aveline. Inquisitor, Andras Day's ass, am I ever glad to see you? I missed you, buddy. And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Cave. Until recently, he was the Viscount. Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall. And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the oh. Viscount of Kirkwall now. Well, it seems oh, that, that you have a, a great hole. deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city state, the nobles give you the worst job. There is the Viscount! That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. Aww, it's thanks. official what is it, recognition buddy? of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a contest now. You can't actually do that without... Uh... Too late. <laughs> Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? Aww. Hmm. Buddy. <laughs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. <laughs> Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. That it's guy looks really mad. To the city. You can't <laughs> give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It's <laughs> it's just symbolic anyway. The it key to the city. One of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. I'm touched. A little bit horrified by this key now but still touched please don't give anything else away oh please do. i don't know how please. this council thing is going to end for the inquisition but whatever gets decided you've got a place lined up in kirkwall if you want it also uh control of the harbor i guess <laughs> anyway you should meet with the diplomats and we'll get in a game of wicked grace before i go back though right i wouldn't miss for it. sure don't bet any public buildings this time. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right, sorry. All right, okay, I'll calm down. What the heck is that? Of course my inventory is full. Give me two seconds. There. No, stop it. Alright. I want to catch up with all my friends. Who's over here? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Blackwall. Alright. I romanced him in my first playthrough. I have a bubble. I really gotta stop that. I always have bubbles when I record. Not 
Nice throw. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't gonna show. Thought about it. I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my word. Easy there. I was just teasing. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. Where have you been? And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. Okay. Are you glad you at least tried to apologize? It's hard to say. I go back and forth most days. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. I think no they're matter what, idiots. You know you can always count on my sword arm and my friendship. Aw, thanks, Blackwall. I'm still gonna call you Blackwall. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better. Yeah. Did I do it? Aw, oh, they didn't let me do it. Can I still talk to you? Oh, hey, what's up? Blackwall in the last few years. Inquisitor, I hope this letter finds you well. I apologize for our prolonged absence. I have traced the whereabouts of one more of my former companion. And I'm writing you from Kirkwall, where he now resides. I knew him as Privus Nicholas Laurie. He goes by Klaus now. Unlike so many of the men I betrayed, Klaus found a way to put his life together without turning to crime. It doesn't in any way lessen the horror of what I did, but it was comforting to see at least one life not completely ruined by my actions. Klaus was married to a lovely lady. They run a small bakery. It didn't take him long for recognition to dawn, and then I had two mince pies lobbed at my head. Pies that were fresh from the oven, mind you. It was a good thing I ducked. I made my apologies even after months of searching and making reparations. It was still hard. To his credit, Klaus allowed me to talk, and we ended the visit with Al Ailes at the Hanged Man. I should return within the month. Thank you for allowing me this time, Inquisitors. Yours, Tom Rainier. All right. Inquisitor. Oh, okay, so I can't talk to you guys after words. Um, a golden nug? I don't want to do that right now. I saved it anyway, so. Cole, buddy! I missed you! Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm. I must see this for myself. I made him more human. I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. I think Cole's and adorable. I the table. Why? The breadcrumbs. Oh, for the birds. birds. like breadcrumbs. <laughs> what a creepy bird. <laughs> hey, that's the uh, lady from the tavern. Oh, Cole. Good day. I didn't see you there. She sings the songs. But I saw you. The bard. As lovely as your songs. What? What? I'm pleased for both Aww. of you. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Oh, my baby's got a... Bring happiness to those who hear. Got a girlfriend. And I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, yay. Where's Dorian? Dorian, where's the Iron Bull? Are you, are, are you gonna, are you in here? Oh, please. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Crib. Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Crem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. You look older. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. 
You might think that was otherwise, random. But the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. Why would I, <laughs> I bring that up? Most mages hate the thick of battle, but I can't imagine hanging back. It's nice to get your hands dirty. That's, That's something you can relate to. Boss. You swing a sword. It's a weird sword made out of magic, but still. <laughs> Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, <laughs> oh, Krim. I have nothing else to talk about. Oh no! Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasta. Of course he Remember? knew. Not anymore, I made you Talvasha. Happy birthday, Chief. Oh, you guys. You got me. Oh, Bull, you're so sweet. Have you are you a Dorian yet? Um, I don't want to read all that. Sarah! Sarah! Here's you and everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together. With the pressure full on. I love Again. Sarah too. I Don't like worry, all the weird Carol characters. Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Jar of bees. Pranks. Just like best times. Oh yay! We're gonna do pranks. Oh. <laughs> 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 Josephine's gonna be so bad. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Josephine. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need. You know it's ending, right? We can oh. say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. People still need us, the Sarah. The still needed. No one can question that. That's the problem. When people need us, they don't need them. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends, and all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Aww. Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. <laughs> Words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. I'm in. Well, all I have to say is... Call me... Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with arse. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us. Because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Aww. Creepy song I'm so is creepy. Blah. What? 
I'm so happy everybody's doing okay. That's fantastic. Lost other books. Stop leaving the places. Moving again. Less stuff. More things. People things. Too many vowel sub things. Name less stupid or lay. Last Jenny checked in. Wasn't worried. A drawing of a glove fist holding an odd symbol smashing against the face of a chevalier. The symbol is red and smells of strawberries. Traveling again and again. Been here before. We're everywhere. Back to the Winter Palace. Never good. Pack bees. Bet Varric were in trouble. Scratched out. Varric won't take a sucker bet. and for ten with Cullen. Everyone looks old and tired and fat. Find who's shrunk by skyhold clothes. Scratched out. Um, don't say the Inquisitor's hand looks bad. It looks very bad. Is Whittle even here? Why do I go where there's no Whittle? The drawing of Sarah and Dagna silhouetted by an explosion of bees and exploding bees. Chargers of the palace, so it'll be sleeping. Rainier hugs harder than Blackwall, still beardy. Josie is best here. Cassandra needs to punch something or she'll explode. Everyone? They never call in everyone. Liliana knows something. Knew it. Inquisition is in trouble. Drank too much. New Ginny always makes you drink too much. We'll be all the fun together or apart. What city she picks? <laughs> Aww. I'm so glad. I'm so happy just to see everybody. And it's just, it's making me all teary-eyed. Who are you? Well met, your worship. Um... Thank you for sending the Chargers to assist the dealings with demons attacking Bond Fort. Their assistance has been appreciated. Many lives were saved. The Iron Wilderness Chargers have prevented another civil war from sweeping across our land. Their efforts in Paradale. The Iron Bull has particularly defeated, in particular, defeated the would-be usurper, usurper in combat. We must protest the actions of the Bulls Chargers in Southreach while the present uh, great assistance to drive back demons. Uh, all right. Oh, cool. All right. I'm gonna put some things in storage then. Um, let's go with all of these, because I doubt that I'm going to change this stuff here. Okay. Wait, what's this? Wardrobe! Oh, thank God. Uh, still ugly. I prefer the blue over the red, though. Um. Cassandra! Oh. I scare you? Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. Yes. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. What? Maybe you should sit. What? I can stand. Maybe I should sit. What? What is going on? Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, okay. Well, that's this is serious. So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. Thanks. That's a lovely sentiment, Cassandra. Marriage is much more than a lovely sentiment, Inquisitor. What? Marriage. Cullen is not hard on the eyes, I'll give him that. But if you truly intend to... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? <laughs> he said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. No. He did this on purpose. No. Wolf gets entirely no. Joy from my Colin's going to propose. <gasps> I might get married. I've thought about it. 
Oh, my little shipper heart. Much. Being inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. Oh, this is so sweet. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. Thanks, Cassandra. Oh my god, I have to find Cullen. I have to. Oh my gosh, where is he? Oh, please. Um, let's see. Cassandra. Blackwall. Cole. Iron Bull. Sarah. Josephine. Varric. There's Cullen right there. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, I need to talk to Josephine. Because I haven't talked to her yet. Of course Cullen would confide in Varric that he's going to propose. Oh, that's just adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bioware. Thank you. I would... I wish Alistair was here. Is she upstairs? She probably is. Yeah. Hey, scouts. Josephine, darling. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. Yeah, let's go. The palace You're my friend. Been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may. No. No more talk of the council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock idle chats with the Inquisitor. Of I meant that to not. be funny. <clears throat> not precisely. But of course you would do that. <laughs> the truth is. There is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. Oh, can I take Colin? You'd like me to go with you? Oh. oh very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlai, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Okay, I could go with you too. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. I miss Skyhold. Let's go happening, home. <laughs> I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And you can't go with Liliana anymore. <laughs> and what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Okay. Let's go. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Sounds great, but I have to go get proposed to real quick. It's just around the corner the past years have been so busy we have earned at least a few moments of rest a I wonder if phones. oh bravo bravo was the woman in gold playing a king who was the man in feathers Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Oh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But you took me, me to the opera? You enjoy the performance? That was... one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... And they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal! Aww, some girl bonding time. I love it. Okay. Um, nobody's up there, thank goodness. Cullen! My bow! I hate that word, but... Now... 
Um, um, is that cheese? I'm not quite sure what that is. Helen, Helen, Helen. <gasps> oh, a Mabari. You found a Mabari. You there. You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. I don't think he cares, Cullen. I think he just wants to play ball. I always wanted Cullen to get a Mabari. Found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olé. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Tired of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? <laughs> not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. <laughs> Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. Oh, I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. Oh, you can have him. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. You should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. Oh. <laughs> the Inquisition That's will change adorable. after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Oh. Still, I've found certainty in my life now. The Council won't change that. Hmm. How are your larium withdrawals? Marry me. <gasps> what? I mean, will you? I, uh, I had a plan, and it wasn't a dog, but you were. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've thought of little else. <laughs> Only to know if you will. I will. Cullen, I will. You will. Oh. I knew it was coming, People but it wasn't ready. The Inquisitor marrying her commander in the middle of the Exalted Council. It won't go over well. We know a few people who can keep things secret. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting married. Oh my god. Just know everything feels like it was worth fighting for. It was. Oh my god. This is This is the part where you make a promise. Oh my okay. god. <clears throat> I swear unto the maker and the holy Andraste <sighs> to love this woman the rest of my days. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're married. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just I just I just I just I just I I I, I oh I, okay okay. I need to stop it there. That's how I'm gonna end part one. <sighs> I need to take a moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because that would be super awesome of you. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>